She wants Chanel, go get it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deshaun King. Today we're gonna be doing the long-awaited Pharrell skincare routine. Watch me follow Pharrell skincare routine in my series. I have been waiting to film this video for a very long time. Ever since he launched his skincare brand, I was like, I'm including this in my series as soon as I can. I am gonna be doing a more in-depth review of human race skincare. I'm not gonna be going too much into detail about some of the ingredients and some of the thoughts that I have about the brand. I'm gonna save that for my review. So if you have any questions about anything that you have about the brand, feel free to leave that in the comment section below so that I can get to it when I film the review. But before I get into the rest of this video, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on my post notifications so that you can be notified of all my future videos. About 65% of you like to watch my videos and not be subscribed, but you still come back and watch my videos. So why not just subscribe because you're just going to come back and watch me anyways. So why not join the family? Without further ado, let's get into the video. What's up? It's Pharrell here. I'm here to walk you through like my morning, you know, routine, what it is that I do every day. Do I stand here like this with my shirt off? I do. We're gonna start with the rice powder cleansing. So I like this because like you really get like a, it's like alchemical, you know, when you watch this like come to life in your hands. You know, just a couple of shakes right there. Now we get in the phone situation. All right, so off camera, I went and wet my face and the first step that we're gonna go into is the rice powder cleanser. When I first saw this product, I was immediately getting some comparisons to the Dermalogica microfoliant, um, but I think that the consistency of this and the texture is a bit more finer, just with the impression that I saw from the video. This is just so interesting. Like the packaging is just so, it's so next level. Like I've never actually used a product that is formatted this way. This looks like rub-on deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna put some into our hands. I like how when I put this into my hands, not a whole lot comes out. I'm pretty happy when it comes to product. Like sometimes I will put more than what I actually need. So I got about that much. So I'm just gonna go to the sink real quick and then I'll wet my hands and rub it on my face. Okay, so the texture of this is actually a lot finer than the Dermalogica Microfoliant. I actually prefer this. This feels like I'm putting on something very, very thin. But yeah, I feel like it's definitely exfoliating my skin and cleansing it without it being too abrasive. I will say though, I'm noticing that when you apply this on a wet face, your face doesn't stay wet as long and the product doesn't stay as movable. It does kind of dry down pretty quickly, so you kind of have to work fast. Yeah, like I can definitely tell at the sides of my face, like around my ears, the product is starting to dry down a little quicker. I think that's possibly because there's like a clay ingredient in the product. I went through the ingredient list of all three of the products just so I can pick out the key ingredients that I wanted to talk about in this video. But I vaguely do remember that there was some sort of clay ingredient in the cleanser, which explains why, you know, it does dry down pretty quickly in some areas. Like my face is already starting to dry up and <laughs> I drenched my face with water before I put this on. So what I typically do if I'm filming, if I need to re-up on some water, I have my spray bottle right here off to the side. I just wet my face. It's also very refreshing too. <laughs> doing that uh that works okay i just want to get a bit more of some lather and focus it like on, around my jawline and everything another thing that i'm noticing too you guys know that i like to use my clarisonic brush in my videos when i cleanse i would not be able to use my clarisonic brush using this product i didn't have any intentions on using my clarisonic brush in this video only because pharrell doesn't use a brush in the video and i kind of just want it to be a little bit more accurate to how his skincare routine was in the video and i'm noticing now even if i wanted to i really could because 
the product just dries down too quickly. And the Clarisonic brush creates a lather and you can't really get a lather from this product. This is more of like a topical kind of cleanser where you're kind of just scrubbing your face more so than just getting a deeper foam kind of cleanse. I'm actually going to get a little bit more. This is like my third time going in with this. I want to get a little bit more because I really want to get some underneath my jaw here. I don't know if you guys can see. So a couple of the ingredients that I wanted to highlight in the cleanser is snow mushroom. Snow mushroom helps with collagen production and it helps boost cell turnover and it also is a very hydrating ingredient as well. Allantoin also improves skin texture and it also is a moisturizing agent as well. And the last ingredient I wanted to highlight is Ariza Sativa brand extract. This ingredient contains over a hundred different antioxidants and it also contains omega-3 fatty acids and it also contains variations of calcium, iron, and zinc. So far after cleansing this is giving me a very much cleanser slash mask effect my whole face is dry right now I feel like I just put on a mask so I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this off and then we'll get into step two you know one thing that I can really appreciate about Pharrell Williams is that one he looks extremely extremely young for his age like honestly when I'm his age I honestly don't even know how old he is like I I forget hey Siri how old is Pharrell Williams Wow, Pharrell Williams is 47 years old. He literally looks my age. He's twice my age. I'm 24. And that that's insane to me. Like, I literally want to look exactly like this when I'm 47. I feel like I will, too. I feel like I have, you know, young, good genes. I feel like another thing that I like about him, too, he just has such a genuine energy about him. And I feel like people like that should be protected. Like, really and he just has such a calm aura about him like honestly speaking i would probably would want to meet him one day only because i feel like our energies would match i don't know so the second step is the lotus enzyme exfoliate all the packaging was influenced by like uh, my love of the japanese culture oh yeah oh, so it's like a cream okay and that's all you need it's the perfect wait, wait what kind of consistency is that Okay, now I'm confused. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go in with step two. This is the Lotus Enzyme Exfoliator. I'm really curious as to what this is gonna feel like and what the consistency is. Ooh, I feel like I almost, when I opened up the cap, I kind of lifted up the product. Okay, so this is nice. You know what this gives me? This gives me like drug test. <laughs> it's giving me medication. Very much Walgreens. It also gives me very much kind of um, drunk elephant because they have this kind of packaging too where you can just pump it out and it is a bit more sanitary that way. Okay, so this is like a cream kind of texture. So I think in the video he like applied this in his T-zone. I've never tried a cream exfoliator before and apparently this is supposed to tingle and I don't feel a tingling sensation at all. I'm wondering if I'm doing this right. I'm gonna read the instructions. <laughs> you guys know that skincare products do have directions on them too in case you ever get lost. Oh, okay, it said gently massage two to three pumps of exfoliator in circular motions on clean, damp skin, avoiding the eye area. Rinse with lukewarm water. Exfoliate two or three times weekly, adjusting routine for your skin's response. So my face is supposed to be damp. So I need to spray some water. <laughs> So I figured out what I did wrong. I wasn't supposed to pat dry my face after I cleansed. I've never tried a product like this before. I feel like I'm stepping out of my comfort zone by a lot. Cause usually after I cleanse, I tone with some sort of cotton pad, with some sort of liquid. I like to see that I'm getting extra dirt and oil off of my skin. I'm sort of trusting the skincare step process here that I am deeply cleansing my skin and that there isn't any excess dirt and oil on my face. So a couple ingredients that I want to highlight in the exfoliator, it does contain 8% glycolic acid. That's gonna help get the extra 
dead skin cells off of your face. It also contains a variation of papaya extract, which can make the skin sensitive. So if you're gonna be using this product, don't use it more than two to three times a week. And also make sure that you're wearing an SPF if you are wearing this during the day. You guys, one thing I'm noticing is that my skin feels soft as a baby's bottom. My skin usually never feels this soft after I do my skincare routine, and I have good products. So I, I will say that this is definitely deeply exfoliating the skin. My only concern is that am I actually deeply cleansing? So it comes in this little box. There's a whole bunch of them. You take this right here, stick that through. I had to bring it down here. You put this on top like this. Just a little bit like this. It just locks in the moisture, you know? I use it I use it often, I don't use it all the time. So it looks like he did some under eye serum. I'm just gonna go in with one of mine. We're gonna use the Clear Cell Restoring Serum from Image. And so it looks like he just applied serum underneath his eyes. This is definitely different than how I do my skincare routine. This is so different. <laughs> so he must not actually use an eye cream. He just used a serum, interesting. All right, Pharrell, what you got for me next? I think humidity is good for your skin. And the cool thing about this is, by the way, we're, this is human race, right? It can't be human race without the Braille. So it looked like he applied the moisturizer on his T-zone and then he spread it across his face evenly. So we're gonna go in with the last step, which is the humidifying cream. I am very curious as to how this is going to feel on my skin, only because I've never tried a humidifying cream. I believe he said that he kind of trademarked that term. I love how it's unscented. I love that because you do have people that are sensitive to fragrance. So I got this much here on my finger and we're gonna put this on our T-zone. Wow, you guys, oh my goodness. My skin feels very soft, and I honestly feel like I'm not done with my skincare routine. Like, usually I stray away from the three-step kind of skincare routines. I include so many steps in my actual skincare routine. This, I am guilty of not really holding up my end of the bargain on sunscreen. I mean, it's 100% uh, it's mineral. So I'm not gonna put on SPF, it is nighttime for me. Lip balm, double C. Oh yes. Chanel. You know what I mean? She wants Chanel, go get it. She wants Chanel, go get it. So when I saw that he used this, this was a perfect excuse for me to go on Chanel and get this. I didn't even think that Chanel had stuff that was like only like 40 bones. I got the Chanel Hydrating Lip Balm. I am so glad that I have this. This never leaves the house. Are you kidding me? 40 bones for some lip balm? I'm not taking this anywhere because I'd be damned if I lose it. And that concludes Pharrell skincare routine, everybody. I had a really fun time filming this video. I anticipated filming this video for a very, very long time when the skincare brand first launched. I'm very excited to see what he comes up with next. I would really love to see some sort of liquid toner included into the skincare line only because that's what I like to do in my skincare routine. I prefer to cleanse and do liquid toner and then I would go in with anything extra only because it gives me that extra reassurance that I got everything off of my face before I pile on any other step. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on my post notifications so that you can be notified of all of my future videos. I am going to be doing a more in-depth skincare review of Human Race, going more in-depth about the ingredients, what I feel like the brand can improve on, and all those fine details. If you have any suggestions or questions, leave them down in the comment section below so I can get to it in my next video. I look forward to seeing you guys in the video that I post tomorrow, which will be day one of Vlogmas for me. Yes, I'm doing Vlogmas, even though I told Twitter 
Twitter and everybody else that I was not going to do Vlogmas only because the idea of me vlogging and posting a video every single day for 25 days of Christmas just seemed so chaotic for me. My lifestyle just does not operate that way. But I am going to be doing 12 days of Christmas so Vlogmas Day 1 starts for me tomorrow so make sure you guys subscribe to me and tune in for that. I'd really appreciate it and I would love to see you guys there. I'm going to be showing a different side of me in Vlogmas and I'm very excited for you guys to get to know me a little bit more. I'm also going to be playing some video games and I have a whole bunch of fun content for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Why not? Could I live if you were everything I wanted you to be? When I saw what you did, who you were with, got me questioning the things that I believe. So I asked myself, do I let you go or do I?